And one other thing that uh, was difficult, uh, after the war, uh, say 1946, I was now 11 years old, uh, there, were, there were Holocaust survivors who were coming to this country. And most of them couldn't get jobs. The few, there were some who were teachers who taught in the religious schools, Yiddish schools in, in Europe. And the Arbitering looked out for these people and brought them into the fold. And it was a very difficult situation for the students because these were teachers who were accustomed to the children being eager to learn. And we were American kids. We had no problem. We didn't worry about anything. <laughs> we said, and I remember uh, to our, I guess, shame forever, we had one man, Havar Toviash, who was a, uh, a refugee from uh, Auschwitz. And he had lost his whole family, lost everybody in the war. But he got over it and he was a teacher. And he would try to put all his emotion and whatever into whatever he was reading. And at one point he stopped. He said, Mir kennisch mernisch lernen. We can't learn anymore. And everybody looked at him. Was, why? Der five was pearl kite gum. Pearl is chewing gum. Pearl was really one of the pretty girls in the class and she was chewing gum. And he was, he was moved to deep emotion that somebody would be chewing gum while he was lecturing. And that's only part of the, of the thing that was very difficult to deal with. These people were so scarred. They were so hurt. And I think the thing, there was another uh, Harvard Glicksman who also came. So we had two of them at least while I was there. And they, they were, I can't think, I can't find a word that describes how they felt about us American kids, Jewish kids, who were, Nonchalant, who didn't care. When wonderful, wonderful kids who they had in Europe were all dead, were killed in the Holocaust. These were kids who wanted to learn, who studied hard and did everything. And we had every advantage in the world. We, we didn't take advantage, or at least they thought. <laughs> so everything is a relative situation. Uh, I thought we were doing a pretty good job of keeping the culture going, and they, they thought we were not. But it's... Uh, it was a, an experience that has stayed with me uh, forever.